Hi guys, so I've been playing a lot of Hero Quest lately, and yeah, absolutely love this game, especially there's so many expansion quest packs to buy. Uh, and also one of the things I love about this is obviously the box set comes with, well, a load of miniatures, which are just awesome. Uh, a whole variety of shapes, sizes to paint up, which is great. And I say, just an all-round fun game to play, especially as it is a kind of a board game. So yeah, easy to play with the kids, which is just great. But there is one thing that I am missing from this, and that's the variety of dice. Uh, yeah, obviously I used to play D&D &D back in the day, and well, I played it a good few years ago. Um, but yeah, I love the fact you get so many different shapes, sizes, dice. Um, and the fact obviously these are like 12-sided, 8-sided, 100-sided, 4-sided. Uh, um, yeah, I just love these dice. So this has got me back also into playing Dungeons and & Dragons. And I had a game at the weekend and absolutely loved it. So I'm going to get back into playing more D&D. &D. So I've got all the uh, the books. Uh, well, I've got a ton of books. Like Just like Hero Quest. Yeah, when I go mad, I go mad. And I've bought uh, about 20 odd books. Uh, but obviously the thing here with the uh, Dungeons and Dragons books is, well, you can't really play the game without a dungeon and dragons. And like I always say, having this YouTube channel means I do get involved in a lot of sort of Kickstarters um, and campaigns that are, well, are nice and new, and I get access to things. So this one, Summon the Dragons, yeah, awesome little campaign. Uh, I'll leave links down below to where you can go and check out more details about this on my mini factory. But as you can see on the screen, yeah, tons of dragons, dragonborns, and orcs, which is awesome, as well as a whole variety of terrain pieces, which is just great too. So in this video, I'm going to be downloading and printing a dragon, as well that's kind of what i want to do first but you will see lots of other pieces from here probably on my channel just because there are so many wonderful pieces so i had a little scroll through and they let me choose which dragon i wanted to do uh, a bit of a tough choice because as you can see yeah these are all highly detailed and they all come on lovely looking bases as well which is just awesome uh, but it was one that caught my attention more than the others and that was a five-headed dragon, although it actually has four, as one of the heads has been lopped off. And yeah, it's this lovely looking creature. But again, as you can see, yeah, it's got an awesome looking base to it. So, downloaded the STL, and I'm going to be printing it on my Sonic Mighty 8K. As well, this seems to be my go-to printer at the moment, because everything's working perfectly. It looks fantastic. And as you would have seen in some of the shots, I've taken the front off to make it easy to get to. So I was very fortunate I could get all the pieces on this uh, on the build plate in one. I did resize it a little bit. I uh, went down to 65% just to get it all on there. Um, because I basically wanted to print it off in one piece. But it's just great that you can get obviously a variety of pieces on here. And yeah, so the detail in this miniature is just amazing. And talking of detail, so I'm using my Aqua Grey 8K Frozen Resin. As this one has been producing some awesome looking miniatures. Um, and I say the detail that it produces is just fantastic. So when you get a miniature that does have a lot of detail in it, yeah, you want to make sure you get it looking lovely and crisp. And that's definitely something that this Sonic Mighty 8K is very capable of doing. So push up a few buttons and away it goes. So I've got it on the, the basic settings that came with Chichi Box. So it's about a, a four, four or five hour print. Uh, but that's fine because say hey, I've had no issues with this whatsoever Everything's per printed perfectly, which is just great. And uh, as you can see yeah, it all comes out in loads of pieces um, But again the detail so I, I still cut I mean, I've been using 3d printers now for what three years And I still can't get over the fact that you can print off miniatures in your own home and the detail on these I mean this little chap uh, the teeth in it. They're minute, but they're there uh, It's just crazy uh, but love it. So yeah, this bit uh, obviously comes all in bits. Uh, everything sort of goes together really, really well. Um, everything sort of interlocks. Obviously, it needs a bit of glue for this. So using just normal standard sort of uh, well, I, <laughs> I use the cheap glue. Uh, but yeah, just some super glue, and everything just gets glued together. Uh, there might be instructions somewhere. I'm not too sure. But to be honest, you don't really need instructions because well, it's a relatively simple model to build. Um, there are obviously pictures you can see of it sort of fully built uh, So yeah, just a case of going around dabbing bits of glue here there and everywhere uh, Hopefully not on your fingers or dropping it like that um, So yeah, it didn't take too long at all to put it all together 
and as well as all the lovely detail that's in well all the dragons that they have um so the fact they come with bases makes it really awesome because say for me this is just gonna be a, a decorative piece that's gonna be sort of sitting on a desk or maybe a shelf well when i get some more shelves um so that's why i didn't mind sort of reducing the size down on this uh, but obviously you can increase the size again the another joy of 3d printers is you can make things to suit your needs so for me it was a case of i wanted to get all the pieces on the uh, the frozen sonic uh, printer in one hit just to print everything in once um and yeah so for me it didn't matter about the size being that little bit smaller as this is purely going to sit uh, sit somewhere for me to look at and here we go so i'm going to try something different with this uh, rather than doing a slap chop style of the old painting black dry brush in white as you can see there i primed it purely in white just because i wanted to see well what kind of difference it makes when you do well a white primer as opposed to the black primer and the white dry brush as with the dipping inks contrast paints army paint the speed paints whichever kind of paints you use um yeah i'm sure they all had it in mind that these paints went over a white prime miniature um and again obviously these paints they pull in the recesses the uh, the nooks the crannies whatever you may want to call them so that's where you get the sort of the darker looking areas and then yeah any sort of flatter areas rounder areas or the areas on the top basically uh they get obviously less paint so there's definitely a more of a nice contrast between a lighter sort of look and the much darker look in all the nooks and crannies so as you saw there yeah i'm really going to just use two main colors for the dragon um i do like my red looking dragons or i like gold dragons as well uh but yeah red and orange always seems cool because that just makes me think it's gonna be a fiery dragon um and then yeah it's just a case of getting this paint on so say i've been using the dipping inks now for a good month or two absolutely love them as you can see though they are definitely well they, f they f flow more um yeah i always had problems thinking what the word was uh but yeah one of you kind souls out there put, left a comment on one of my uh my videos um because i always used to call it more waterier which i don't think is a real word anyway but uh yeah so it flows well it's more fluid um and yeah it's definitely lighter and brighter in the areas which say i think makes more of a contrast between the light and the dark areas uh but the good thing is obviously with this stuff it doesn't react if you put another coat on which is just awesome so that's great because it does mean you can just keep building up the layers to get it as the dark or as light as you kind of require and the other great thing is because obviously it doesn't sort of uh activate itself you can do some blending uh not that i'm very good at blending i do try every now and then uh just because again it's one of these things where if you don't try it you'll never get better at something so yeah just keep trying persevering so that's why with this dude i've gone for like a red sort of on the top area and then for the underbelly and the arms here as you can see i'm doing an orange uh, but then on his scale on his main sort of chest uh yeah i go back to doing another red uh, and yeah again this this sort of style of painting so quick so easy love the results um you get from this even after doing this for the last year and a half yeah this is still my go-to um just because it is it's simple it's quick it's easy so talking about the old blending bit yeah i want to try and do their heads different colors so rather than make it all just sort of like orange or red uh yeah the actual heads i'm leaving one orange and as you can see one's gonna be green one's gonna be blue and one's gonna be a purple so again this is where i have a go at doing some blending does it work mm, i'll let you decide on that I, mean, I like the outcome i think it's the actual ending has worked well uh but again it is just a case of more persevering trying different things uh and like you guys watching youtube watching other people do it so you try different techniques and different ways of painting um and then you kind of like settle on whatever works best for you which is why i say the painting is great because we all have our different expectations on how we want something to look um, and we all have our different sort of enjoyment levels so again for me i don't want to spend hours and hours on something i want to paint have fun um, and have a result that i'm well happy with so that's why to sort of tie everything in because i say i didn't blend the colors in too well so that's why i'm going to go over with a wash um it's kind of like a red wash there and literally the whole of this dragon gets coated in a wash so all the tail the uh, bit going up the body all the heads everything um and i think this wash does help it helps sort of tie everything in well 
I wouldn't say perfectly, but perfectly for me anyway. If you do like my videos, guys, it'd be awesome if you could hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell, as I do produce a couple of videos every week. Although I am now going to try and get into a habit of doing one video every Monday. Um, just because I, I basically I need to get into a routine. Because uh, at the moment, or the last couple of months, I've been doing a video pretty much every other day. And as much fun as I've been having, um, I don't have a lot of room to store things. Um, and now the weather's going to get nicer. I want to have a bit more time out and about. <laughs> so yeah, you're going to see one video every Monday. Uh, I'm not too sure of the time. Probably around about 3 p.m. UK time, as that seems to be the best. But who knows? Um, so yeah, every Monday I'm going to release a video, and then possibly sort of maybe one other day in the week. So uh, yeah, keep an eye out for those guys. So yeah, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell, hit the like button would be awesome. And obviously, more importantly, leave some comments down below. As you guys know, I love to sort of read and sort of see what you guys think of what I'm doing. Uh, and again, if there's anything you want to see me have a try at, whether it's painting something or trying a new style of painting, uh, yeah, I'm definitely up for, well, all that kind of stuff. And I do collaborations with other YouTubers, because that's always fun. Because sometimes I never know quite what to do next. So yeah, doing a, a collaboration, um, especially if they give me a brief of what to make. Or maybe you guys. Yeah, why not you guys? Leave comments down below um, saying what you want to meet me to make. Whether it's a kit bash or printing and painting. Anyway, back to this chap. Yeah, he's nearly done. So I wanted to change the horns there. So paint them in like an off-white. And then put a um, like a sepia wash over them. Um, and there we go. I love how this, this dude's come out. It's a nice, quick, simple, easy paint job. Uh, but yeah, I'm very happy with the results. And yeah, I've now got my dragon to go with, well, the dungeons. <laughs> so guys, don't forget to check out the links down below to the campaign Summon the Dragons by Soul Good Creations. Again, links down below for that one. As well as the Frozen Sonic Mighty 8K resin printer that, uh, yeah, I've been using a lot of recently and, well, absolutely love it. As I certainly have noticed a difference in the prints recently, um, yet yeah, the detail just seems so much sharper and crisper, which is, well, absolutely awesome. So yeah, I am back into playing D&D now and loving it, so you will see some more, well, D&D miniatures or miniatures that are D&D compatible as well as Hero Quest and many other kind of tabletop games. I hope you enjoyed the video guys. There is another video on the screen. Give that a click, see more of what I do. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, leave comments, all that great stuff. You guys all take care and yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.